Amen. And as the soloist have already said, when Jesus comes, Amen. all the tempter's power is broken. Amen. When Jesus comes, we wipes all tears away. Amen. He takes the groom. He fills the lives with glory. Amen. For all is changed. And I believe today everything is going to change as Jesus comes in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why not lift up your voices at this moment and call upon the Lord? Why not lift your voices at this moment and pray and talk to the Lord in prayer and thank the Lord first of all, thank the Lord first of all for all that the Lord has been doing in this two days conference. So far, what the Lord has done for us, my brother, it calls for praise, it calls for thanksgiving, it calls for honor, it calls for adoration. Lift up your voices and talk to the Lord. Prayer. Show your appreciation unto the Lord. Oh, my brother, my sister, you can be like the Israelites who said, Ebenezer, 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 either two have you led us. And my brother, you can see where the Lord has led us so far. Ah, we can speak with those people together, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, you have helped us. Ebenezer, you have led us. Ebenezer, you have sustained us. Ebenezer, you have done as good up to this part. Let us just thank him. Let us just bless the Holy Spirit. Let us just glorify the Holy Spirit for the great things he has done so far. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. My brother, it's a day of multiple breakthrough. A day of multiple breakthrough. A day like no other day. A day like no other day. A day like no other day. So thank the Lord and bless him. Thank the Lord and glorify him. Thank the Lord and lift him up. For so much he has done for you, for what he has done for us as a conference, my brother, him. and what he is about to do in your own life as well. Lift him up, glorify him, lift him up, glorify him. Bless his mighty name. Bless his mighty name, glorify him. Tell the Holy Spirit that we have already sung. Oh, don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. This day, Lord, you will not pass me by. While you are blessing others, don't pass me by. Speak to the Lord and tell him. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer. To the Lord in prayer. That the Lord himself will do great things in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our great God and Father, the eternal King of glory, the one who is not tired of blessing his people, the one who is compassionate and loving, the one who is kind, the one who names even testify who he is. You are an excellent God. You are a mighty God. You are a great God. You are a miraculous God. So, oh God, Lord, you are going to do. And I pray that today, this afternoon, Lord, you exhibit, oh God, you will illustrate, you will, oh God, manifest your name in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We are here for great things. Amen. We are here for excellent things. Amen. We are here for marvelous things. Amen. We are here for great things. No matter who you are, Lord, we pray you will not pass any one of us by in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, we thank you so far what you have done. Wow. And we are expecting that at this climax of this conference, you will do beyond, oh God, our expectations. Amen. You will do marvelously, miraculously, excellently, greatly in our midst this very day in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are talking about a day of breakthrough. Yes, Lord. Oh Lord, I pray, make this very day a day like no other day. Father, do it among us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, we are counting upon you. That you will do us, oh God, good as we continue. Amen. Is it not concerning your word? As we are going to look, the Bible says you send that word. 
and that will heal the people, you send that word. That will deliver the people, you send that word. That will prosper the people, you send that word. And that word, my God, sustain the people. I pray today, as your word is coming out, Father, it will help us, it will do us good, it will deliver us, it will transform Amen. our life, Amen. it will mount us with wings like the eagle to fly Amen. above every other obstacles in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are expecting, oh God, a multiple breakthrough. Amen. Let the zeal of the Lord of God perform it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty, victorious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So like I said, we are looking at this wonderful and great message titled, A Day of Multiple Breakthroughs. A Day of Multiple Breakthroughs. And it's today. It's not tomorrow. Amen. It's today. It's not to next week. Amen. Today, today, there will be a breakthrough in our lives than any other day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's look at the word of God as we turn our Bibles to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5, which is going to be our text. And I'm reading from verse 17 to 26. Luke chapter 5 from verse 17 to 26. The book of Luke, the gospel according to the book of Luke chapter 5, and I'm looking at verse 17 to 26. He says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there was Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And behold, <laughs> verse 18, men brought in a bed, a man, a bed, Power. brought in a bed, a man, which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon that housetop and they let him down through the tiling with his coach into the midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this? We speak at blasphemies. Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Whether it's easy to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise, take up thy coach and go into thy house. And immediately he arose, upon, he arose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed, his, uh, departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed and glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, we have seen strange things today. And I believe today you will see strange things in Jesus' name. Amen. If today you will see strange things in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have just seen the account of this story. You know, this story recalls the event on a certain day when Jesus was teaching, and like we are finding from the Bible, the day ended in a spectacular fashion. How did it end? It ended by those people testifying. It ended by those people saying. It ended by those people being amazed, and they glorified God, and they were all filled with fear. And what did they say in that area? Saying, we have seen straight things today. 
And I believe it's going to happen also in our midst in Jesus' name. Amen. What were the straight things which happened? Why, what were they amazed? Number one, they find it was strange to them because it was a day of what? Redemption. They saw that it was the day of redemption. Oh, my brother, my sister, it was a day that the Lord redeemed, a day that the Lord saved. Oh, yes, a soul. And that was why it was amazed to them. That was why they saw his strain. That was why they glorified God. And that is what the Lord is going to do in our midst today. And I believe, brother, my sister, the Lord will touch every life today in Jesus' name. Amen. It was strange to them because it was a day of redemption. My brother, a day like no other day. Oh, a day that the Lord reconciled oh, a soul unto himself. A day that the Lord himself trans translated a soul from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. A day he forgave my brother a soul who had a sinning against him for all this while. It was a day of redemption. That's why to them, it was strange to them. That's why they were amazed. And the Bible said they glorified God. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know what the Bible tells us? The Bible tells us that, oh, there is great joy. There is great joy. There is great joy. Even in the heavens, when a soul is saved, it was a day of rejoicing. Praise the name of the Lord. It was a day a soul came into the kingdom of God. And the Bible said they couldn't hold their peace. Those people over there, the Bible said they rejoice. And think about it. If we on earth, oh yes, when we see strange things, we see amazing things, we see I mean, wonderful things, a soul being saved, we are glorifying God, we are thanking God, how much more the kingdom of heaven. The Bible said there is a great joy. When a soul, one soul, my brother is saved. So it was a day of rejoicing. Number three, it was a day of to remember. Praise the name of the Lord. It was a day to remember. And I'm believing that that day, that day, that day, this is our own time. This is our own generation. It will, today is going to be a day to remember in Jesus' name. Amen. A day we will talk about. A day we are going to say that uh, we have never seen it in this fashion. A day we say, look, I've never seen the power of God like this. I've never seen the glory of God. I've never seen the strength of God. Oh, the might of God like this. All oh, because we did this conference on Zoom. And even though we were in our homes, the power of God moved. The spirit of God moved. And every one of us, we were touched. And there was a great multiple breakthrough in our life. It's Amen. happening today. We will remember it, my brother. We will not forget it in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This day, my brother, this day, this day, this day, in a similar fashion, my brother, will be a day of multiple breakthrough for everyone. Oh, Amen. let me tell you, when you look at it, because the Bible tells us where I read in that verse 17, look at it again, look at it again. In the last part, it says, and the power of the Lord, and the power of the Lord was present to heal, praise the name of the Lord. My brother, Hallelujah. you know the reason why I'm telling you that today is going to be a day with a difference? If that was because of the power of God, that was why those people, they recorded that day. Oh, they said that, look, it was a prayer. The presence of God was there. They glorified God because the power of God it was there. And they are one all time, and today as we are talking, let me tell you, wherever you are, let me tell you, the power of God is with you. Amen. With you. The Amen. power of the Lord is with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And Amen. And will do great things in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, when you look at that power, the Greek word which is translated power over there is a dunamis. You know, and it's the same word, dunamis, is the same word that has been translated in some part of this New Testament as a might. 
It talks about the might. Here, it, where we read, it talks about the power of the Lord. In some places, it talks about the might of the Lord. In some the other places, the same word, dunamis, is translated the strength of the Lord. And I don't know the circumstance in which you are. Is it a circumstance? Is it a situation that it calls for the might of the Lord? The might of the Lord is around with you, and it will do great things in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The condition in which you are, is it a situation, circumstances in which you are, which calls for the strength of the Lord to heal? Oh, like in their own time, the power of God was there to heal. In our own time, is it a situation that calls for the strength of the Lord to heal? The strength of the Lord is, is with you and it will heal, it will deliver in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why I'm telling you, that's why I have all the confidence, my brother, because the Lord himself is going to do this thing in our midst in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to tell you this very afternoon, that no sickness, you know, no infirmity will escape, let me tell you, the power of the Lord today in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm telling you that no, no, no captive, my brother, oh yes, will escape deliverance today in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm telling you that my brother, my sister, that no oppressed person, no I mean, afflicted soul, my brother, is going to escape the freedom of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever. Whatever your problem, whatever your problem, you won't escape solution to that problem today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The Amen. Lord will give you solution to every problem in Jesus' name. Amen. Because the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord is present to heal. The might of the Lord is present to deliver. The strength of the Lord is present to, I mean, to give you freedom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at the first point we are talking about. And the first point we are looking about, in my brother, in this message is desperation and frustration of the sick. Desperation and frustration of the sick. When we read, when you look at that, Luke chapter 5, look at that verse 17 and verse 18. He said, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal. And behold, men brought a bed, a bed, a, 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 men brought in a bed, a man which was taken with a spousy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. Praise the name of the Lord. We saw yeah. over from here the desperation of these people. We saw the frustration of these people. Here we find the paralyzed man. The hospital could not help him. Oh, yes. The religious leaders could not help him. The Pharisees and the doctors who were around of the, of the law, you know, of the law of Moses, they could not even help him as well. And maybe, my brother, in your own situation, in the, in, in the, you may be in this situation as well. And this situation also describes you, my brother. And you have sought God. You have sought for the Lord. My brother, seeking for, you, have, you have sought the Lord through counseling. You have sought the Lord. You have, you have fasted and prayed. You have been to leaders. You have been to lawyers. You have been to maybe even doctors as well in your own case over here because of maybe of the legal case of your document, because of maybe the legal case maybe in the family, because of maybe maybe the sickness that you are having, but because of maybe the problem that you are having, you are so cancer here and there, and it look as if all these people have not been able to help. I want to tell you today, I want to tell you this afternoon, the power of the Lord is here. The presence Amen. of the Lord is here. And Amen. the Lord himself will deliver. The Amen. Lord himself will sort you out in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray that you will depend upon this God for a change. And the Lord Amen. himself will do it in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Like I said, you know, you know, desperate people, they do desperate things. 
not able to get the paralyzed man onto Jesus. The friends of the man, of that man, they dismantled somebody's roof to get access. They got there and the whole place was filled up. No access. They can't break through, yes, into that, I mean, that, 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 I mean, to the crowd to enter through the door to get to Jesus. But the Bible said that because of that, they were so frustrated, they were so desperate, needing for, for a solution for their, their friend. And the Bible said that they climbed the house, they went to the rooftop, and they opened that roof, and they did, brought that man down. Think, look at the desperate, how, how desperate these people were. Look at how these people, they were so much frustrated, my brother. And the Bible said God rewarded their desperation. God rewarded their frustration. And I'm telling you that as you are looking for God at all costs, as you are seeking for help at all costs, as you are seeking for solution at all costs, the Lord today, as you look at your desperation, your frustration, let me tell you, there is a way out for you today in Jesus. Be true to that situation let me tell you, the Lord is going to give it to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus did not see the, I mean, the foibles, the foibles or a roof of those, I mean, or to, to get uh, those people to get, uh, I mean, to, to, of, of those frustration men or the dis destructive impact of the de desperate. He saw their faith. He saw their faith. And this afternoon, oh, let the Lord see your faith. I pray the Lord will see your faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Even your faith is not, you can call upon the Lord, you can tell me that, Lord, help down my unbelief. And the Lord will give you that faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Our test again, when you look at that test, verse 20, Luke chapter 5, verse 20, he says, And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. Thy sins are forgiven thee. And when he saw the faith, he saw him, he saw that man, and he said, Thy sins are forgiven thee. Can faith be seen? Yes, faith can be seen. Yes, faith can be seen. Through the actions of faith, my brother, your faith can be seen. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. My brother, how frustrated are you? How desperate are you in getting, yes. Can the Lord see your faith? Can the Lord see your faith? You know, many at times, you know, people don't think about it. But let me tell you that faith is very important. Personal faith is very important. It takes faith. It takes faith. That's why the Bible tells us. And yesterday, our pastor would let us in the first, in this, in this, uh, I mean, in the first message, he emphasized it over and over, over and over. He said, without faith, without faith, without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. And those that come unto the Lord, they must diligently, I mean, seek it. If you seek the Lord, my brother, if you seek the Lord by faith, let me tell you that today, you will not go empty handed in Jesus' name. Amen. That the Lord himself should visit you, the Lord will visit you today in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Need the Lord for a breakthrough, let me tell you, it will happen into your life in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what Jesus told those people. He said, it shall be you according to your faith. And my brother, let me tell you something. If you don't have a breakthrough today, my brother, you can't blame anyone because it will be unto you according to your faith. And as I, we are looking at this way, my prayer is that it will boost your faith. My prayer Amen. is that it will boost your faith. My prayer is that it will build your faith up to hold on unto God for a breakthrough in the situation in which you are looking up unto God for in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Faith can be seen. Look at James chapter 2. Look at James chapter 2. What the Bible says concerning faith. My brother, it's so important. It's so important that you believe the Lord this afternoon. You trust the Lord this afternoon. If you are going to be blessed this afternoon, if you are going to have this multiple breakthrough, oh my brother, it would be to you according to your faith. faith James chapter 2, I'm looking at verse 17 and 18. Even so, even so, if it, it even so, even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, 
and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy work, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By your actions, by your actions, your faith can be seen. That's why we are talking about that faith, my brother, faith, my, my sister, can be seen. Praise the name of the Lord. And Hallelujah. I pray that you believe the Lord like these people, they believe the Lord. They trusted the Lord. They believe in him. That if only we can get to him, oh, something good can happen. And their faith were rewarded. I pray that today, as you trust the Lord, you will not go empty handed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at the book of Mark. Mark chapter 10, Mark chapter 10, as we look at somebody who was so desperate, oh yes, for a freedom. Mark chapter 10, look at somebody who was so desperate, look at somebody who was so frustrated, he was so desperate, my brother, for a healing. Mark chapter 10, I'm looking at verse 46. Mark chapter 10, I'm looking at verse 46. He says, and they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho, with his disciples, a great number of people, blind by Timios, the son of Timios, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him, and many charged him, and many charged him, not a few, many charged him, no, that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more, a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. The more he cried, the more those people shouted him. The more he prayed unto the Lord, the more those people were telling him, keep quiet. The more he was praying, the more those people were shouting him down. But that man who was so desperate for a healing, that man who was desperate for a breakthrough, the Bible says, oh, he continued. The more they shouted him, and I, that's why I'm praying that today. Oh, the Lord, as he see your frustration, your desperation, the Lord himself, he will do you good in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, you, when he saw the desperation of this man, Jesus stood still, verse 49, and he commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good cheer, be of good comfort. Be co he collected it and he casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today you will cast away your garment in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey. Every apron of fig leaves, my brother, in the name of Jesus. Everything that is covering you, you will cast it out today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And that was how the end story tells us that. That was how Jesus, that was how Jesus, you look at verse 52, he says that, and Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. It was his faith, it was his faith, it was his faith. My brother, do you have that faith to receive healing? Do you have that faith to receive a breakthrough? I pray that, Lord, you will have that faith to receive your breakthrough today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you remember the woman also with the issue of blood? Oh, that woman was so desperate. That woman was so desperate enough to throw caution even to the wind and push through the cloud to touch the helm of Jesus' garment. This was a woman. He, she knew, she knew the law of Moses. She knew the law of God that in that state, my brother, that with the issue of blood, she was not supposed to be among people. If it is going to be, she need to exert herself. She need to keep herself that nobody should touch her because anybody she touches, that person becomes unclean. She was not supposed to be in the congregation, but desperation frustration. My brother will not make this woman to stay alone. And the Bible said she pushed her way through the crowd to touch the hem of Jesus coming. My brother, my sister, can I ask you, are you desperate like that? 
in a situation you are to see a breakthrough? Are you desperate like that in the condition you are to see a, I mean, a, a breakthrough? I pray that with your desperation, with your frustration, the Lord himself will do you good in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember the Syrophoenician woman. You remember the Syrophoenician woman. Oh, look at the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. And I'm looking at verse 21. The book of Matthew chapter 15, what, as I look at verse 21, Matthew chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 21. He said, then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And went with us today. And besought him, saying, Set her, uh, set, uh, set, set, uh, besought, uh, said, uh, send her away. For he cried and with them and confirmed the word. And, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meet to take their children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And he said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs, or, 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 the dogs eat of the clumps which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And the daughter was made whole from that very moment. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Apart from the faith of the woman, you could see the des how desperate. How this man was desperate. He was desperate enough to ignore the silence and the insult, you know, to secure healing for her daughter. You know, many of us will have just backed off. Many of us will have just, I mean, got angry and just live like that. Many of us, my brother, will have said, oh, no, you, you are not the only pastor. You are not the only leader. You are not only the man of God. Oh, if you don't have time, I don't have time. Let me go my way, but not this woman. This woman was so desperate enough to ignore the silence. He was desperate enough to even ignore the insult of Jesus. Say that, look, I didn't come for, I didn't come for, for, for you. I came for, 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 for the children of Israel. I didn't come for the, the, for the lost sheep of I me, mean, for, 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 for the people, the outcast. No, he didn't say, the woman did it, I take that one. And I pray that your desperation my brother, today will end you a breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you remember how desperate Jacob was? Do you remember how desperate Jacob was? He was so desperate that he was not ready to let go. He was not ready to let go. When the angel, oh yes, even touched the hollow of his eye. When the angel, yes, dislocated the keep of his tie. The Bible said without pain. So desperate that what he's looking for was more than that pain. What he was looking for, my brother, my sister, was more than that pain. And the Bible said that he hold on with desperation, with frustration for that, oh yes, that, 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 that blessing. The Bible said he hold on as the angel was saying, let me go the day break. I say, I will not let you go except you bless me. I pray that today, if that be your case, breakthrough is your portion as well in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just like the Shunammite woman. Just like the Shunammite woman. And oh yes, Ge Ge Gehazi was just hold that woman, wanting to throw that woman away. When the woman with her frustration, when the woman so desperate for healing for dear, I mean for, for, for healing for their son, it came to need a hold the man of God to talk with the man of God. And Gehazi came trying to push her away and 
took Elijah to tell her, he said, leave that woman alone, leave that woman alone, but he was not ready. With all three things that was thought, the woman was ready. He said, it was well. Apart from her faith, she was so desperate, my brother, my sister, to ignore even what Gehazi did and to even to receive healing for her daughter. I pray today that the Lord is going to do like that for you in Jesus' name. Amen. How desperate are you? How desperate are you? How desperate are you? How desperate are you? You know, I used to talk to one of our brethren, a brother who is having a problem, you know, in the health wire. He's having a sickness that that sickness called for that every, it's like every six months, he have to go and do blood tests. Every six months, he have to go and do blood tests to know the situation of his health. And when this brother called, he used to call me, he said, Pastor, oh, pray for me. I'm going for this thing. Sometimes he tells me, every six months ago, I will pray for him. And there was a day after he has gone, I, 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 I called him. I was speaking with him. And I asked the brother, I said, look, tell me, when you go to do this blood test, it's not the first time, not the second time. You have been doing this blood test. But when you go with what you tell me always, Oh, I should be praying for you. When you go, and you yourself, you have been praying. When you go to do this test, and the results come, and it proves, you know, that there is no change in your situation, what do you normally feel? He said, hey, I just take it like that. I look at that brother, and I told the brother, I said, my brother, no, you, you, you can't be like that. I said, it can't be like this. I said, no. You need to be frustrated. You need to show my, your displeasure. You need to make the Lord know that, no, you were expecting great things, but it's look as if that it is like, you, you, you don't have faith, expecting that even the test you are going to do, that there is going to be a change. I told him, no. You know, you go and you come back, and then the result shows that it's the same situation. You, 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 you should be disappointed. You should be disappointed. You should let God know that this is not what you are expecting. You should let God know that you are expecting something better than this. But when it's like you take it that, okay, I've gone, it has come, this is the situation is like that, then how desperate are you? How frustrated are you? How can God know that, no, you are looking for a breakthrough in your life? My brother, I pray we will show our desperation, we will show our frustration when we are looking for great and mighty things, when we are looking for, I mean, break truth from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. You know, it's like I've told you this story before. When I was looking for the Holy Spirit baptism, when I was looking, oh, when we go to conference like this, oh, it was a time that always I'm looking, that, that day. Every conference time, oh yes, it's a day that I'm expecting that the Lord will not pass me by. Sometimes I will wait upon the Lord. Throughout the conference, sometimes I will not eat. I'm expecting that God himself will baptize me with his spirit. And what was a day like that? Oh, when the conference was going on, and I remember the last message of the man of God. It was that our, our former European overseer by then. And as he ministered, he finished this time. And it was a message also on Holy Spirit baptism. And by that, I knew that today, today, today is my day. And that day I pray, that day I call upon the Lord. What is it that I didn't do before that conference? And that day was this. And lo and behold, that was how the man of God finished the message. Oh, and he closed. And I saw that, ah, it's like today the Lord has passed me by. And I was not ready to take no for the answer. As I was there, my brother, I was so cold. I was there, I was so sad. I didn't know I was, you know, I, it's like, it's like something, I've lost something in my life. It's like I can't move on in life again. I was so desperate and so frustrated that day. And let me tell you, my brother. And so as the man of God, I was standing at the back of the hall. And as the man of God also left the pulpit and he was coming, going out from the hall, that was how I followed him. When I followed him, and I just, I, I got that the strength just only to open my mouth because I was so sad, tears have already choked me. I opened my mouth and I said, Pastor, I want to see you. And I said, David, what can I do for you? And as I opened my mouth, tears will not allow me to talk. 
Tears will not allow me to explain what I need. Here am I, I say, I want to see you. And he's asking me, what do I want? What can you do for me? And Jesus was filled up with my heart. I was crying like a baby, frustrated, desperate for other thing. And, and I, he hold me. He hold me for almost about five, 10 minutes. He hold me together just for me to cool me down. And by the time they saw like the tears come down, he said, tell me, what is the problem? I opened my mind. I said, I've been looking for this baptism, and today it has passed me by. He said, no, Brother David. Brother David, you will get it today. He said, don't cry. As I only able to say that statement, tears started again. And he called me. He called me. And he was, I mean, pampering me, telling me, calling me. I said, don't cry. You will get it. And that was how. By the time the message, everything was finished that night. We finished by very late. And we go to the National Overseer's house together with our late brother, uh, Abdul Salam, with National Overseer himself. And you see, we, by the time we got there, he said we were, to, we were to go and eat. The moment we got down there, food was set there. Then he said we should come and eat. I told them I'm not eating. The moment he looked at my face, you know, he told the National Overseer and the, the, our late brother, he said, you know something, we can't eat. They say, Brother David is looking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and we must pray with him. They left their food because I refused to eat. They also, they couldn't eat. They said, let's go. We just stood there over there. And by the time we started praying, that's how the Lord baptized me in the Spirit. And I started with the Nishia, oh yes, speaking of the tongue. I started praying in tongues. I started praying. I started praying. I started praying. And that's how they left me. I didn't know when they left. They went, they ate everything. And then I heard, you know, it's like people were talking here and there. And after a long time, they came back. I was still there praying. I was still there praying. I was still there praying. They stopped me. I remember they were saying, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to say amen. I can't even stop. I want to say amen. I can't even stop. The power of God was upon my life. The strength, the spirit of God was upon my life. Until they hold me, they tap me, they tap me, they tap me. That was how I came down. What am I saying all this thing? My brother, that day, I was so frustrated. I was desperate for that thing. I was desperate for that spirit of God. My brother, and I'm telling you, I've experienced it. I've experienced it. And I can tell you that if you are desperate for breakthrough today, it will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Desperate, my brother, for breakthrough today, the Lord will not pass you by in Jesus' name. Amen. That leads us to point number two, which is the creation of forgiveness. The creation of forgiveness by the Savior. The creation of forgiveness by the Savior. We saw over there, this man was brought primarily for healing, but he received what? Forgiveness. This man was brought primarily for what? For healing. But he received what? Forgiveness. The first and essential breakthrough in the life of faith. And brethren, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Primary miracle. The primary miracle. The primary miracle, you know, paves the way for a secondary miracle. It is not a miracle to you know. Is it not a miracle, my brother, to have your forgiveness? It, of course, it is. It is. It is a miracle. My brother, when your sins are forgiven, it is a miracle. It is not easy to forgive. Look at us. Let us ourselves talk about it. We ourselves can say it. Is it easy sometimes when somebody has offended you to forgive you? Is it easy somebody has wronged you, my brother, to say, oh, I'll let you go? Can't you see many people, even so-called children of God, are struggling to with forgiveness? It's a miracle. It's a miracle when somebody has offended you, when somebody has disobeyed you, when somebody whom you created you, I mean, you brought into this world, my brother, has walked down upon you, when somebody has rebelled against you with all that you have said. How do you feel? How do you feel? But the Lord God Almighty. Oh, my brother, forgiveness is the greatest miracle. 
salvation is the greatest miracle. And that's why, my brother, you know, many people sometimes they don't think that, yes, salvation is anything. It's the greatest miracle that can take place in the life of a man. Think about it. For somebody that you have wronged, my brother, to forgive you your sin. Think about it. For somebody, yes, you have wronged, for him to translate you from the kingdom of darkness into his kingdom of his dear son. Is it not a miracle that a sinner, oh yes, that God can just justify you within a twinkle of an eye? He said, look, there is no more condemnation to you. Those who come unto me by faith. Is it not a, a miracle for God himself to regenerate your heart? to transform your heart, to regenerate your heart by the washing of the blood. You know, is it not a miracle? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. For you to be adopted into the family of God is a miracle. For you, my brother, to be reconciled, you in time past, that you were enmity with God, for God himself to still use his son to bring peace between you and himself. Is it not a miracle? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. And that's why, my brother, even though this man came, my brother, for a healing, he received the greatest of miracles. And like I'm telling you, the primary miracle, you know, of salvation paves the way for every other miracles to come true. And I'm, that's why I'm praying, I'm pleading with you. Maybe you are here. Look at it yesterday. Think about it. Have you considered it? Yesterday, oh, there was a chance for you to give your life to the Lord. And there is somebody God is speaking to you. There is somebody God is speaking to you. Yesterday, there was a chance you postponed it. This afternoon, oh, this morning, a short while ago, there was an opportunity for you to amend your ways. There was an opportunity for you to reconcile unto the Lord. You still postponed it. And here is it. God is a God of second time. And he has given, given you the third a chance again. I pray that this time around, my brother, my sister, you will not ignore. You will not put away this very chance as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Here you are. You are not living right. Here you are. Your ways are wayward. Here we are, disobedient. Here you are, drinking. Here you are. Maybe you smoke, oh yes, in a secret way before you come to the church. Oh, the Lord is calling you this afternoon. He's calling you this afternoon. He's calling you this afternoon. Maybe you have been telling lies. Maybe you have been, yes, gossiping. The Lord is calling you this afternoon. What a great, uh, I mean, a call. And I pray that the Lord himself will do it in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, many times people say, they say that, look, look at this one we are talking about. When you look at that man in Luke chapter 5, Look at that Luke chapter 5. I'm looking at verse 20. Then Luke chapter 5, verse 20. Luke chapter 5, verse 20. Look at what he said. He said, when he saw their faith, he said unto him, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. The question is, wasn't Jesus aware that they came in for healing? Wasn't Jesus aware that these people came in for healing? But listen, salvation. My brother, listen, salvation, my sister, listen, salvation is for dominion, is the foundation for dominion. Salvation is the foundation for deliverance. Salvation is the foundation for breakthrough. And it has been so, and it will always be so. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's very, very important. Many people think that no. There are times people come for deliverance, and sometimes you are, you, you are interviewing them, you are asking them. And by the time they finish you out, they say, sister, oh brother, how is your spiritual life? How is your relationship with the Lord? You know, sometimes the way people even make their faith, even though they don't open their mouth, but you can read it from their faith, their action. That what they are saying is that, look, it's like, pastor, don't waste time. This is not what I came for. I came for deliverance. I came for healing. Just pray for me. But let me tell you, if only you can receive this primary miracle, the miracle of miracles, oh, my brother, it will pave the way for every other miracles to come in in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's why I pity people. I pity people. I pity people. I pity people, you know, who toil with salvation. 
No, they don't know that salvation is the foundation for dominion. Salvation is the foundation for deliverance. It's the foundation for great truths. And the Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I remember a story. The story of one of our of our pastors in the in the in the develop, developed world here in the Western world over here, and this pastor said they, 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 he was there one day, and all of a sudden, this man, an elderly so-called a middle-aged man, you know, just trooping into the church, and he said they asked the man, "What do you want?" and the man said he wanted to see the pastor. So he took him to the counseling room. He said by the time they got to the counseling room, the man looked very chatted. The man looked, you know, very dirty somehow. And he was having this, you know, this, uh, 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 this children's bag, the school bag, this Zaino, the, you know, Italians call it Zaino, that they, they, they use it to put in their books. They put it at their bag. He was having this bag at, at his bag. And it was so filled up. And by the time they got his office, he gave him seat to sit down. And then the man put that bag down. And he asked him, what can I do for you? And the man opened his mouth. And he told him, he said, I've been in this country for this number of years. He said, this is who I am. And he started to talk. I'm a medical doctor. And he started to call his, I mean, his prophet, I mean, his, 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 his titles, you know, his, he have MD, PAD, and it's a lot of the degrees that he was talking about. And he said, unfortunately, I came to this country. Every place I go, I've been looking for, I, 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 I mean, employment. But I, to my surprise, every place I go, the moment they look at my credentials, they look at my CV, they say, you are the best person we are looking for. You are the type of person we are looking for. They will call me for interview. I'll go for interview and they will tell me everything is okay. And I will be waiting, waiting for their response, waiting for their response, waiting for their response. They say not once, not twice, not thrice, not, you know, he say, it has been like that for many years. And the man doesn't have any place to sleep. He was sleeping under one of the bridges, even near the church in that place. And the man told him, he said, that's how my life has been. He said, what has brought me into this church? The pastor said, the man told him, he said, what has brought me even to this church today is that, pastor, I went to a place I saw an advert and I went to that place. Still, the place I went to, the hospital I went to, he said, the moment they saw my, I mean, my CV and every other thing, just like every other hospital I've been saying, they say, you are the best, the person we are looking for. This is the person we are looking for. And he said, they called me for interview. They said, the same thing, I went to the interview. They said, but this time around, I found out that among the board, among the board of people who were going to interview me, here was a junior. I even trained back home in Africa. Here was somebody I trained. He was under me. I helped this person. And I find him to be even the head of the board who were interviewing me. And he said, when I saw it, Within my heart, I say, oh, the end has come. Man. Oh, finally, I've got a breakthrough. Mm. And he said, they interviewed me. They did everything. He said, Pastor, till today, as I'm talking, you have never called me. You have got another person for that position. He said, when I saw that junior of mine, that student of mine, he said, I saw that everything, and I've seen that law. It is not just a mere thing. It's not a normal thing. And he said, the pastor look at him. He said, you look at him. And then he told him, he said, he said, it's not difficult for Jesus. He said, situations more than this, Jesus has been able to solve. This is a small thing for Jesus. 
we are going to pray for you. And he told him, before I pray for you, I want to introduce to you the man, that man of Galilee, that man of Calvary. I want him to introduce you to him. If only you can give your life to him, surrender your life to him. You know, he will change every situation. He said, before he finished that statement, the man looked at him and said, Pastor, no, 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 this is not what I came in for. This is not what I came in for. I, I want you to pray for me. I want you to pray for me that this problem will, be, will lead my life. I know there is a problem, but I want you to pray for me that this problem will lead. He said he tried to convince this man. The look, salvation will help. He tried to preach. He said he did everything. The man was not ready. So he said, together with some of the prayer warriors, they still pray for him anyway. He said, we pray for him anyway. And I, and I knew that even though we, we have to pray, we pray. And I knew that that prayer would not do him good. But we still pray for him. And he said, it didn't keep long. After I think about two, three months. Then he took care to him and he asked the brethren in the church, you know, one day they met in the church, and he, I think at the workers' meeting, and he asked, he said, ah, he asked, he said, brother, so, so, and so, tell me, the other man who came here, that medical doctor, who used to sleep under the bridge, what, what happened? It's been a long time, not seen over there. He said, the man just said, he said, pastor, you don't know what has happened. He said, what has happened? He said, the man has passed away. Problem have killed that man. He couldn't get that breakthrough. He rejected forgiveness. He rejected, I pray that today you will not reject forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not reject forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen. When you look at verse 23 of that book of Luke chapter 5, you know those Pharisees, those, I mean, Sadducees, the scribes over there, look at what they say. Those people, they were saying, they say, who is this? Verse 21, he said, and the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, say, who is this? We speak at blasphemies. Who can forgive sins? But God alone, but when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, what reason he in your heart? Whether is easier? He said, which one is easier? To say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, rise up and take up thy bed. You thought that it, it is easy? What he was trying to say that you think it's easy to forgive? You think it's the easiest thing to forgive? Yeah. Even though it's easy to say this one, let me deal with this strong one first. The fact that I'm saying that, yes, that thy sins be forgiven thee, doesn't mean that it is the easiest way. This is the most difficult thing, my brother, my sister. This is the most difficult thing. And if the Lord wants to deal with that thing in your life, I pray that he will give him chance. Today, he will forgive you. And by the time he forgive you, you know, every other thing will pass through in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, look at Psalm, 20, Psalm 56. Psalm 56, a very important passage. And let me encourage you from that place. You know, there are, and, and you know, this situation is in the life of many people. There are many believers, many believers. Sometimes they say, oh, they look at it that ah, they are, what they are passing through is the most difficult thing. But this afternoon, I want to encourage you. There are many believers who think that, oh, maybe the oppression they are passing through is the most difficult thing. Sometimes they think that, ah, maybe the affliction they are going through is the most difficult thing. Sometimes they think that the lack in their life is the most difficult thing that God cannot do. But look at what the psalmist said. Look at what the psalmist says, Psalm 56. And I'm looking at verse 13. And I pray that to give you encouragement today in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 56, verse 13, it says, For thou, this was David, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Do you know what David was saying over here? David was passing through a difficult time. David was looking for a deliverance. And he was looking at it that ah, it's like it's delaying. But at a point, he need to remind himself. He need to remind himself. He said, God, what? The difficulty in my life, which one is easier? Is it the saving of your soul? 
or is the deliverance or is the healing of your body which is difficult of course is the saving of your soul is the forgiveness of your sin is the most difficult thing and david recognized that he knows that and david said that for thou art delivered my soul from death you have saved my soul you have delivered me from the penalty of sin he said will not thou also deliver my feet from falling that i may walk before god in the light of the living the answer there was obvious he said god the fact that you have saved my soul i believe that you are able also to deliver my soul you are able also to deliver me from falling you are able also to deliver me from this affliction you are able to give me freedom from this captivity you are able to set me from the captivity of the enemy david at this very point he said you have saved my soul which is the most difficult one he said would you not also do that he said, of course, God, you can do this. If you have done this difficult thing in my life, of course, this one is the least thing. You will do that as well. And my brother, I want to tell you today, allow God to take hold. Allow God to take charge of this difficult thing. The difficulty in your life, this difficult of, I mean, this hard thing of sin. This heart of sin. Let God take it away. Let God forgive you today. Let the Lord reconcile you. Let him, my brother, yeah, translate you from his kingdom of darkness into the uh, kingdom of his dear son. Let him adopt you today. Let him make you part of his family today. And let me tell you, like he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you as you do, my brother, every other thing this dominion you are looking for, this breakthrough you are looking for, this I mean, healing you are looking for, this provision you are looking for. My brother, it will come your way. It will be your portion today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thing, my brother, is more than not the foundation of the I mean, bondage. Sin has always been you know, as we are talking about breakthrough, and you are to be talking about it, we talk about it yesterday, we talk about it today. Somebody may say that, ah, it's every time a sin, a sin, a sin, a sin. My brother, sin is more than often. We are not saying that every problem you are going through is as a result of sin. My brother, don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. But what we are telling you that sin is more often, major time. You know, most of the time, sin has always been the foundation of bondage. It has been the foundation of affliction. It has been the foundation of sickness. Look from the, the beginning. Look from the beginning of Genesis. From our great great grandfathers. What happened? Is out of sin. Sin brought what? Sin brought what? Sin brought sickness. Sin brought what depravity. Sin brought what a brought death. Sin, sin has always been. Sin has always been. And look at the book of um, Psalm, Psalm one o seven. I'm looking at verse seventeen. Psalm one o seven. I'm looking at verse seventeen. Psalm one o seven. I'm looking at verse seventeen. It says, "Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are uh, what afflicted." Some people, it is what is sin, a sin. I'm not saying all people, but those who are fools, like the Bible say here, fools because of their transgression, because of their sins, because of their iniquities. That's why they are afflicted. That's why they are afflicted. Look at Psalm 119, Psalm 119, verse 67, Psalm 119, I'm looking at verse 67. Psalm 119, verse 67. It says, before I was afflicted, before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy way. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is telling us, you know, this is showing us the principle of what? Of sowing and reaping. It's showing us the principle of sowing and reaping. It tells us, say, before I was afflicted, because I got, I went astray, that was why I was afflicted. Because I saw sin, because I saw iniquity, that was how I went into captivity. That was how I went into, yes, bondage. That is what the summit is saying over here. 
But I pray the Lord God Almighty, He will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at John chapter 5. John chapter 5. The book of John chapter 5. And I'm looking at verse 14. John chapter 5. I'm looking at verse 14. My brother, let us deal with sin. Declaration of forgiveness by the Savior on the pathway to a day of multiple breakthrough. And I pray you will not throw this very message overboard in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not throw this message behind you in Jesus' name. Amen. John chapter 5, I'm looking at verse 14. John 5, verse 14. Afterwards, Jesus finded him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. He said, You have been healed. He said, You have been delivered. You are now sound. You are now made whole. Sing no more, lest a worse sin come unto thee. When you sin, obvious, it will lead to affliction. It will lead to sickness. It will lead to brother oppression of the devil. It will lead you into bondage. I pray the Lord, you will help every one of us in Jesus' name. Yeah. I want to tell you that most afflictions, more oppressions, like we have said, most, my brother, captives and curses and bondages can be traced to transgression and iniquity in the life of people. When we deal with sin, the door to many blessings, guess what? Gets open. Forgiveness paves the way to multiple blessings and breakthrough. But I pray, as you are hearing this thing, you will not hinder the Lord to receive the forgiveness from him in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 3, Acts chapter 3, the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 26. Acts chapter 3, verse 26. Acts chapter 3, verse 26. It says, Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his word, in Iniquities. He said, God came, and this afternoon, the Lord wants to bless you, my sister. The Lord wants to bless you, my brother. The Lord wants to bless you by turning you away from iniquity. He came, my brother, to do that. Salvation proceeds, my brother, blessing. Salvation proceeds, my brother, breakthrough. Salvation proceeds, my brother, yes, deliverance. And I pray today you will allow God Instead to work in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55. The book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55. And I'm looking at verse 6. Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 6. The book of Isaiah. I'm reading from verse, 50, verse 6. Chapter 55 from verse 6. Isaiah 55 verse 6. He said, Isaiah 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And my brother, my sister, don't reject the Lord. Seek him today. Can't you see the Lord himself is looking for you? Look at it since yesterday. Look at it since yesterday. And today, this is the second call. Today, this is the second call. The call, the Lord himself is beckoning on you. He said, come home. And he says, seek me. Like he said, he says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. My brother, you must seek the Lord. You must seek the Lord while he may be found. You must seek the Lord while he, he I mean, he is still, his promises, I mean, the, the, the promise is there. He still will respond to his promise. Seek the Lord, seek the Lord, seek the Lord while there is still the promise of his response. While there is still the promise of his response, why am I repeating? Why am I emphasizing that seek the Lord while there is still the promise of his response? Because God's time of salvation, my brother, is limited. I want to tell you, God's time of salvation is limited. It's limited. It's limited. A day is coming why you will, he will refuse, my brother, to respond when you call upon him. A day is coming that he will refuse, my brother, to hear you when you call upon him. But seek him today. 
today while he can be found. Seek him today while he may be found. A time is coming. I'm telling you that the salvation of God is limited. It's limited because as you call upon him today, he can respond to you. A day is coming. A time is coming. My brother, he will refuse to respond even when you seek him. He will refuse to respond even when you call upon him. And I pray that today, I pray that today, you will call upon him while he may be found in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what he said in verse 7. He said, let the wicked forsake his way, and let the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, he will abundantly pardon. The, word pardon. the Lord himself will forgive. The Lord will Amen. forgive you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Let every sin, let every sin, let every sin be taken away from your life. And the Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, how is the way out? With all that we are talking about, how then can I have this forgiveness we are talking about? How then can I receive this forgiveness we are talking about? Look at 1 John chapter 1, the book of 1 John chapter 1, and I'm looking at verse 6. 1 John chapter 1, I'm looking at verse 6. Oh, the relationship of forgiveness by the Savior. The relationship of forgiveness by the Savior. 1 John chapter 1, verse 6. It says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Verse is, but if we walk in light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses it from all sin. What the Lord is saying is that, oh, God says that he is in light. God says he is in light. And here you are, you come in together with us. You go out from, uh, out from the church with us. You come in together with us. You go out from the church with us. But here you are, there is a sin in your life. You are walking in darkness. You know, to walk in darkness is to live in sin. To walk in darkness, my brother, is to have sins in your life. And the Bible is saying, if you proclaim, you said, oh, yes, I'm a child of God. You proclaim, you say, I have fellowship. I'm going to the church of God. I'm going to worship. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to do this. And here you are, you are still gossiping. You are still, oh, consulting. Oh, yes. I mean, those babalawas, you are still, my brother, have some, I mean, some ways bound under you. You are still have some creams in your home and your, I mean, you, 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 you smack it on. You see the powers of the enemy. You say you are walking in darkness. And you say you are having fellowship with him. You can jump up and down. You don't have fellowship with him. You say you are turning a lie because God is light. And you have no association with darkness. Light and darkness, they never go together, my brother, my sister. And I pray today you will seek him. That's why he said in verse 8, he said, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But verse 9, if we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to do what? To forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I pray today you will seize this opportunity in Jesus' name. Amen. You will take opportunity to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, the Lord, want, the Lord want to do as good. Look at verse, Proverbs chapter 4, well, Proverbs chapter 28. Proverbs chapter 28. So we see over there confession, confession of your sins, confession of your sins. My brother, the way out is confession of your sin. As today, you will not leave this very place. You had the opportunity yesterday, you blew it out. You had it this afternoon, yes, you, 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 you ignore it. But this is the chance again. This is the chance again. Proverbs chapter 28, as we look at verse 13, this is the chance again. Why not confess those sins? Why not come and ask him? The Bible, he have already promises. He said, if you confess that sin, he's faithful. He's faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. Not only forgiving you, he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Those filthiness, those 
filthiness. And the man of God told us yesterday in that message, the first message, those filthiness, the Lord will wash you. The Lord will cleanse everything out from your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs chapter 28, and I'm looking at verse 13. Proverbs 28, verse 13. He said, he that covereth his sins, he that covereth his sins, you know, you can't cover your sins, my brother. You can't cover your sins. You can't cover your sins. Most unfortunate thing is that a church like this, you know, a church like this, a Bible-believing church like this, you know, many people cover their sins. Many people cover their sins. You can't cover your sins, neither with your position. People cover their sins with position. People cover sins with titles. Oh, they say, yes, I'm usher. They say, yes, I'm a pastor. They say, yes, maybe I'm, 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 I'm a set of scripture teacher. People cover their sins, my brother, with, with, with titles, with position. You can't cover. The Bible says you can't cover your sin. You may say that, yes, I'm not even a worker. I don't have any title in the church. Oh, you have a title. You know, there are some people that we title them. We say, ah, that regular member. Oh, that regular member every day is in church. You're, that is your title. You are a regular member of the church. But you, you, because the fact that you are a regular member, of the, you think you can use your regularity in the church to cover your sin. You can't cover your sin. He said, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. If you do it, you can't prosper. You can't prosper. But he said, whoso confesses and forsaken them shall have one shall have mercy. mercy. I pray today, I pray today, you will forsake your sin. Amen. You know, in the book of John, First John, the epistle of John, he told us if you confess, but it doesn't stop over there. It doesn't stop. Here, Proverbs tells us that it is the one who confesses and you forsake it. You say, Pastor, what do you mean by that? Oh, have you found people that when messages come, sometimes with remorse, sometimes they cry, Sometimes they are shouting. Sometimes they do everything. Oh, it's like they, 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 they feel sad of what they have done. They confess those sins. They will pray to God. Oh, God, forgive me. Oh, God, wash my sins away. But my brother deep within, that person knows that the sins is confessing. He is not ready to forsake it. But he takes confession and forsaking to, for you to end what mercy for you to end what pardon is the two which goes together. If you confess and you are not ready to forsake, that's why you find people who come to altar calls every time, every time, every time. There is one problem that they confess. They hear message, they always confess, but they, know, they, they, they are not ready to leave it. You say, Pastor, what do you mean? How can you confess sin and you can't, I mean, you can't forsake that thing? Have you found people? Maybe sometimes they are doing boyfriend, girlfriend. And this is a boy, a girl living in this man's house. And he hear a message. He hear that salvation message. He confess, he knows that he's in fornication. She knows that, that she's in fornication. He knows that the judgment of God is upon his life. And he wants to leave. And but then he will cry, I'm sorry, God, forgive me my sins. But ask the same person, the sins that she's for, for, for he's confessing. Is he going to go into that house again? That same day, is he going to go into that house again? Oh, she's deep within. He said, if I leave this place, where am I going to go? If I leave this house, where am I going to go? Or maybe it's somebody, maybe you, 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 you are working in a place that you have to do with money. But you know how you have been, you know, manipulating the accounts. And you have been stealing some money, you have been getting, falsifying those accounts. And here and there, and you have been getting those things. Or maybe it's some materials you have been getting. You, that you have been you getting to, to use it in your home. And you hear the message. And the thing done upon you. Guilt come. And you want to leave. And sometimes you confess, you confess. But the same person who is confessing is already thinking, if I leave this thing, the small, small money I'm getting over here, the small, small materials I'm getting over here, if I leave it now, how am I going to manage life? If this thing gets up from my life, how am I going to move on in life? And even though the person is confessing, he's not ready to forsake that sin. And we said, people, you know that God looks at the heart. God looks upon the heart. 
God knows our heart. And he knows people who are confessing and they are not ready to forsake. And those people, they never receive mercy. But I pray today, you will move from that confession you will forsake. Everything you have been confessing and confessing and confessing and confessing. Oh, my brother, it's a hard time for you to forsake it. So that the pardon of God, so that the forgiveness of God, so that the mercy of God will come upon your life today in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord will do it for you. Amen. When the Savior declares you forgiven, the Pharisees cannot cancel it. You know, the doctors of the law, they can't query you. They can't contest it. Satan cannot even oppose it. Man cannot even annul it. They are, you are forgiven, and the Lord has forgiven you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That, that leads us quickly to the last point. Deliverance by faith, by, deliverance by faith for the sake. Deliverance by faith for the sake. And I want to tell you once again, Deliverance by faith for the sake. Breakthrough by faith for the sake. Freedom by faith for the sake. Healing by faith for the sake. My brother, like the Lord Jesus told this man, he said unto him, you know, in that Luke chapter 5 verse 24, he said unto him, the, the, sick, the, the, the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise, take up thy cross, Take up thy, thy, thy cross. Go into thy house. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling you, take up thy bed. Take up thy bed. Go into your house. The Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Deliverance. The deliverance was immediate. We saw it from the Bible. The deliverance was immediate and, was, uh, and he, gave, he gave a rise to celebration and reverence for the Christ, for Christ. Look at that verse 25, verse 25 of that Luke chapter 5, verse 25. He said, and immediately he arose before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, we have seen straight things today. The Lord will do it in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Deliverance by faith. Deliverance by faith. That man, Jesus told him, arise, arise, take up thy bed, take up thy bed, take up thy bed, and go into thy house. And that's how. He stood up by faith. He stood up by faith. My brother, appropriate your faith today. The faith we talked about yesterday, the faith we have talked about today, appropriate that faith. Appropriate that faith. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord today, and it will be unto you according to your faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Every miracle, every divine miracle is worth celebrating, my brother. Every divine freedom, it worth celebrating. It worth glorifying God. It worth praising God. That's why the Lord told us in the book of Psalm. He said, I call upon me in the day of trouble. I will answer thee. And what did he say we will do? We will glorify Fine. him. My brother, when the Lord has done something for a great thing for it, miracles, my brother, freedom, deliverance, my brother, it calls for celebrating. It calls for celebrating. And every breakthrough should elicit praise from us for the divine intervention. Look at that Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13, as I look at verse 17. Luke chapter 13, verse 17, as we are running up. Luke chapter, uh, Luke chapter 13, and look at verse 17. As we are running up, Luke 13, verse 17. Look at what the Bible says. Luke 13, verse 17. It tells us over here. And when he has said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. This was a story about this woman, you know, who for 18 good years, 
good for 18 good years, the Bible said that he has been bound over. He has been bound by, the, by Satan. And the Bible said that he has been bent over because of the binding of Satan. And Jesus came his way one way, one day in the synagogue. And he find this woman, and about that's how this woman received her healing. And it happened on the Sabbath day. And the scribes and the Pharisees, oh, those people, those people have power, no, no power to do anything. Those people don't think good about anybody. They were there this time as well. And the Bible says that they started murmuring, they started complaining. Why should you heal on the Sabbath day? Why should you do this? And Jesus responded unto them. He said, what? What are you talking about? Is this woman not a daughter of Abraham? And can you see this woman who being a daughter of Abraham for this good 18 years being bound by the devil? Is it not good for me to lose this woman? Is it not good for me to lose this woman? And the Bible says over there, that when he's responding them that way, all the people around, all the people around, and he said, all the people around, and all those adversaries around, they were ashamed. And all the people around, they rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Today, he's going to do great things. Amen. Amen. Rejoice in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. To do great things. And you are going to magnify him in the name of Jesus. Amen. The day Intervention has come. A day of, I mean, of divine breakthrough is always a day of strange things. And strange things are about to happen in your life. Amen. Strange things are about to happen in your family. Amen. Amen. Are about to happen, my brother, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you believe it, why not rise up on your feet? Why not rise up on your feet at this moment to pray? If you believe it, strange things are going to happen. Mighty things are going to happen today. My brother, pray and call upon the Lord. My sister, pray and call upon the Lord. I want you to begin to thank the Lord. I want you to begin to magnify the Lord. I want you to begin to praise the name of the living God. I want you to begin to say, God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to praise the name of the living God. Begin to magnify the Lord at this moment. My brother, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank the Lord at this moment. Praise the name of the living God at this time. For the word of God we have heard, if nothing at all, look at the messages we have heard through at this conference. Yesterday, 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 and even today, my brother, does it not call for a thanksgiving? Does it not, doesn't it, doesn't it call for praises? Doesn't it call for honor and adoration unto the Lord? My brother, pray at this moment. Thank the Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of the living God and thank the Lord. Praise the mighty name of the living God and thank the Lord. Praise the mighty name of the living God and thank the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, my brother, praise the mighty name of the living God and thank the Lord. He's a great God. He's a great God. He do mighty thing in your life in the name of Jesus. My brother, call upon him. Tell him that, Lord, I thank you so far for what you have done. Even your word I've heard, even your word I've heard, you have sent that word, and I know this word has brought healing in my life. You have sent that word, and I know this word has brought deliverance in my life. You have brought that word word and this word i know father it has come oh yes to stay it has come it has come to do me good my brother it has come to do me good my brother it has come to do me good in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus my brother pray at this very moment pray at this very moment thank the lord 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 in the name of jesus thank the lord Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brother, we are going to start where Jesus began. How did he begin with this story? He began by forgiving that man. He began by forgiving that man. He said, Son, Thy sins be forgiven thee. And I told you, forgiveness is the greatest miracle. When forgiveness takes place, my brother, every other miracle 
will follow. Every other miracle will follow. And I'm praying that today you will not deny the Lord. You will not, yes, ignore his forgiveness. You will not reject his forgiveness. He has stretched forth his hand. He's beckoning upon you. He's calling upon you. He said, my son, my son, come. My son, come. I pray you will respond in Jesus' name. Amen. My brother, you are not the only person. Let me tell you, as we are praying, I want to tell you, I'm a recipient of this forgiveness. When forgiveness came to my life, oh, it took away every other sickness from my life. Amen. 1987, 1987 Easter Saturday, when I gave my life to the Lord, you know, little did I know, little did I know I was making a great move. Little did I know that I was receiving a great miracle when I gave my life to the Lord. The Lord gave me that forgiveness and I, I became a child of God. You know, after some years, a couple of years, then it occurred to me one day, I said, what? It's like, what has happened? For some time now, I've never had my crisis because I was an asthmatic patient. I, have, I used to have asthma, very strong one. I was born with it. It was in my family. And I have it. When it comes like that, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. That sickness is a terrible thing. And you know, after I've given my life to the Lord, it was after some years. And one day it occurred to me that ah, I've never had this crisis. And my brother, until now that I'm talking, till now that I'm talking, 1987, Easter Saturday, 1987, Easter Saturday, 1987, as the Lord gave me my sins, I trace back, I say, ever since I gave my life to the Lord, I never had this crisis. No knowing. It was after I looked at it, I remembered. Oh, the Lord have taken. He told me it is finished. He Amen. told me that Easter Saturday, it is finished. And that finish, it comprises my salvation, it comprises my healing, it comprises my deliverance. The Lord healed me, he delivered me from that infirmity. And today I'm talking, as I'm talking, 1987 till now, no trace of that sickness, asthma. My brother, the Lord can do it for you. That is what the Lord did for this one. The Lord can do it for you. And as we are going to pray, as many who want to give their life to the Lord, as many who want the forgiveness of the Lord this afternoon, my brother, why not open your mouth to confess your sin? Why not open your mouth to confess your sin? Open your mouth to confess your sin. Open your mouth to confess your sin. Confess your sin. Repent of those sins. Repent of those sins. Tell the Lord that you are sorry. Tell Tell the Lord that you are sorry of committing such things. And not only that, tell the Lord, oh, yes, of not seeking him even yesterday, of not seeking him even this morning. But here you are. You do think it's never too late. It's never too late. The Lord receive me even today as I come. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. This forgiveness, oh, yes, you, 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 you have introduced me to this forgiveness. Oh, yes, you, you, are, you are ready to give it to me. Lord, I receive this forgiveness. Tell the Lord this afternoon. Tell the Lord this afternoon. Tell the Lord this afternoon. As you are confessing your sin, you are repenting of your sin. As you are forsaking your sin. My brother, ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. When Jesus comes, my brother, all tears will be wiped away. When Jesus comes, my brother, all sin will be wiped away. For all will be changed when Jesus comes to stay. All will be changed in your life when Jesus comes to stay. All will be changed in your life when Jesus comes to stay. All will be changed in your life when Jesus comes to stay. The tempter's power will be broken when Jesus comes. Oh, my brother, pray, pray. He will set the captives free. He will set you free, my brother. So pray that the Lord will forgive you. Pray that the Lord will forgive you. As his precious blood, as his precious blood to cleanse you. Ask his precious blood to purify you. In the name of Jesus, my brother, pray today. Call upon his mighty name. Call upon his mighty name. Today is a day of mighty breakthrough. Today is a day of mighty breakthrough. And this is the primary miracle that is taking 
influence in your life. Don't ignore it. Don't let my brother reject it. Don't refuse it, my brother. Don't refuse it. Don't refuse it. The grace of God that brings us salvation. My brother has appeared to some people of old. He appeared to me some years back. It appeared from that brother there some years ago. It appeared to that sister some days ago. It appeared to some people some months ago. And today is your turn. The grace that brings us salvation is appearing to you. It is appearing to you. Can't you see the grace teaching you? Can't you see the grace telling you that you can't get back into this sin? Can't you see the grace telling you that no, you can't live in this sin again? Can't you see the grace telling you that you need to forsake this sin? You need to leave this sin. You need to abandon this sin. You need to forsake this sin. You need to reject this sin. You need to ignore this sin. You need to refuse this sin. Can't you see the grace teaching you? My brother, don't reject that grace. Don't reject that grace. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord that the Lord will save your life. The Lord will forgive you your sin. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus. Those who are giving your life to the Lord, I want you to repeat it for me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I have seen today that you love me. Why do I know that you love me? You called me yesterday, I rejected. You called me this morning, I rejected it. But Lord, you have never given up on me. You have still called me this afternoon. I believe I am a sinner. And I come unto you, asking that Lord you will forgive me my sins. I know there is punishment. I know there is judgment upon my life. But I thank you that you took my place. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for committing such sins. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to cleanse my life with the precious blood you shed on the cross of Calvary. Lord, I open the door of my heart. I invite you into my heart. Come into my life. Come into my life. Be my savior. Be my Lord. Be my master. Be my redeemer. In the name of Jesus. Help me to follow you. Help me to follow you. Help me to love you. Help me to love the people of God. Help me to love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, give me the grace to go and sin no more. From today going, I am a child of God. And I thank you for making me your child. Blessed be unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Brethren, we are still praying. I want you to open your mouth at this moment. It's a time of multiple breakthrough. It's a time of multiple breakthrough. And one will begin to call upon the Lord. A day of multiple breakthrough. Tell the Lord that, Lord, it's a day, it's a day, it's a day, it's a day. It's a day, it's a day, Lord, you must do something in my life. This is the day. Tell the Lord at this moment, call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord, the Lord, this is the day, do something in my life. This is the day, do something in my life. In the name of Jesus, my brother, pray. It's a day of multiple breakthrough. Where things have been difficult in your life, my brother, where things have been difficult in your life, you are going to a breakthrough. You are going to have a mighty breakthrough today. My brother, pray, 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 pray. There is going to be a mighty breakthrough, my brother, in your life today. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is a day of multiple breakthrough. It's a day of multiple breakthrough. My brother, pray and call upon the Lord. Pray and call upon the Lord. A multiple breakthrough, a time of shifting to a new level. Pray and call upon the Lord that your life will not remain the same. With this breakthrough, 
With this today's breakthrough, your life will not remain the same. Call upon his mighty name. Then you are going into a new destiny. With this new breakthrough, you are going into a new destiny. You are going to a breakthrough with a mighty way in the name of Jesus. Pray that this breakthrough, brother, that it is coming with a new destiny. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. You are going to experience a new power. A new power, my brother, in the name of Jesus. With this breakthrough, a new power. With this breakthrough, a new freedom. With this breakthrough, a new level, my brother. You are going to jump into a higher level. Call upon the name of the Lord this day. Call upon the name of the Lord this day. Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. You had it yesterday. Yesterday you have had it today. A breakthrough, my brother. It's a jump. It's a jump. It's a jump. It's a jump. A jump, my brother. It's what you need in your life. A breakthrough is what you need in your life. A job is what you need in your life. A new level is what you need in your life. Enough of crawling, my brother. Enough of crawling, my sister. Enough of crawling, my brother. Begin to pray and tell the Lord, a jump, a jump, a jump is what I need. A jump is what I need. A jump is what I need. A jump in my spiritual life. A breakthrough in my spiritual life. A jump in my business. Into a new level is what I need. A jump, my brother, in my financial life is what I need. Call upon the name of the Lord. A breakthrough, a breakthrough, a breakthrough, a breakthrough, a breakthrough. My brother, pray and call upon the name of the Lord. It's what you need in your life. Pray and call upon the name of the Lord. Talk to the Lord in prayer. 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 In the name of Jesus, a jump in your career, a breakthrough in your career, a breakthrough in your career, a breakthrough in your marital life, a breakthrough, my brother, in your physical life. My brother, call upon the name of the Lord. It's all you need. It's all you need. And if only you can talk unto the Lord with frustration, with desperation, holding on unto the Lord, holding on unto the Lord. Lord, by faith, hold on to him. He said, tell him, Lord, you are the only one, you are the only one, you are the only one, you are the only one who have the power, who have the power, and the presence of God is here. The strength of God is present. The power of God is present. The might of God is present to heal this afternoon. The might of God is present to heal this afternoon. One of prayer and call upon his mighty name. One of prayer and call upon the name of the living God, our God God, he will do it. Our God, he will bless you. Our God, he will help you. Our God, he will grant you a breakthrough. My brother, pray, 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 pray. All those obstacles, all those hindrances, my brother. It's a day of breakthrough. Pray. Breakthrough in your financial life. Breakthrough in your marital life. Breakthrough in your social life. Breakthrough in your physical life. Breakthrough, my brother, in, in your business life. Breakthrough in your academic life. Breakthrough in your careers. My brother, pray, 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 pray that the Lord will lift you up this very day. Today, 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 not tomorrow. Today, not tomorrow. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, be like Jacob. You said today or no more. Today or no more. Jacob said, As I will not let you go except you bless me. Except you bless me. Except you bless me. My brother, don't take no for an answer. Don't take tomorrow for an answer. Don't take next week for an answer. A day of multiple breakthrough. And I want you to hold on unto the Lord. 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 Breakthrough is what you need. Breakthrough is what you need in your family. Breakthrough is what you need in your academic life. Breakthrough is what you need in your health. Breakthrough is what you need at your working place. Breakthrough is what you need in your business. Breakthrough, my brother, is what you need. Is what you need concerning your document. You just only need a breakthrough. You need a breakthrough. You need a breakthrough. A job is what you need. My brother, pray, 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 pray. 
continue to pray that every barrier to release multiple breakthrough. Oh, they should be removed in the name of Jesus. Declare it, pray it today. Every barrier, every barrier, every barrier, every barrier, they should be removed in the name of Jesus. Let every barrier be dismantled. Let every barrier be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, yesterday we talked about hindrances. Yesterday we talked about hindrances. Oh, those hindrances. We will talk about hindrances to our, uh, to our promise breakthrough. We talk about hindrances to our promise breakthrough. Those hindrances and hindrances, my brother, you are responsible to take. You need to remove those hindrances. You need to take that responsibility to remove those hindrances. You need to take that responsibility to do away those hindrances. But the hindrances, the barrier we are talking today, the barrier we are talking about, my brother, oh, the promise breakthrough, those hindrances you are responsible to deal with. But the hindrances you are talking about, oh, these are hindrances that accept God himself intervene. These are hindrances that accept God himself handle it. You cannot handle it. You cannot handle it. You cannot handle it. Cannot handle it. That's why you must pray unto the Lord. That's why you must call upon the Lord. The Lord God Almighty, by your power, by your power, and your power is here to heal. Your power is here to deliver. Your power is here to grant me a breakthrough. Remove every hindrance. Dismantle every hindrance. Dismantle every hindrance. Remove every hindrance. In the name of Jesus, call upon the name of the Lord. 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 There are hindrances that my brother, except the Lord take it away. There are hindrances that my sister, except the Lord do away with it. You cannot heal with it. So why not pray? 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 And call upon the Lord. Why not pray and call upon the Lord? The Lord Himself will remove that hindrance. The Lord Himself, by His power, by His mind, we have talked about the power of God that was present to heal, and the power of God is here to heal. The strength of God is here to heal. The might of God is here today. This afternoon, this afternoon, this afternoon, my brother, pray and call upon the name of the living God. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord. Call upon his mighty name. Let every checkpoint, let every checkpoint on your highway of breakthrough, let every checkpoint on the highway of breakthrough be dismantled today in the name of Jesus. Let every checkpoint, every checkpoint, every checkpoint on the highway of your breakthrough, my brother, let them be dismantled. Let them be dismantled by the power of God, by the might of God. Every satanic hindrance on the highway of blessing, my brother, let it be dismantled. Every satanic opposition, my brother, every satanic opposition, every roadblock mounted, oh my brother, pray, 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 that they should be dismantled. Talk to your father in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer, Talk to the Lord in prayer. with the spirit with frustration. With the spirit with frustration. Tell him the Lord, how can I continue? How can I continue? How can I continue? How can I continue with this situation? How can I continue with this condition? How can I continue in these circumstances? How can I continue? I love my father. Oh Lord, it is time. It is time. And today is the day. And today is the day. And today is the day. Pray every form of destruction mounted against you to take away the place of blessing and opportunities. Let it be dismantled. Let it be dismantled. Let it be dismantled. Every, every this form of destruction. Every form of destruction this afternoon, my brother. Oh, on the highway of your breakthrough, every destruction mounted against your breakthrough, my brother. Don't Say, ah, pray today. This mantle, this mantle, this mantle, this mantle, this mantle, this mantle. In the mighty name of Jesus, Daniel was looking for a breakthrough. Daniel was looking for a breakthrough, and the Bible said that as he sought the Lord, like you are seeking the Lord, as he sought the Lord, like you are seeking the Lord, as he prayed, like you are praying. The Bible said, Oh, the answer was sent. The answer was sent. The response was sent. The breakthrough was sent. But there was this prince of Persia. There was this prince of Persia who 
was stationed in the highway of blessing. Who would call those blessings? My brother, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. We have been praying for breakthrough since January. We have been praying for breakthrough since January. We have been praying for breakthrough since January. Is it that God's ear is hard that you cannot hear? Is it that God's hand is short that you cannot deliver, my brother? But there is this prince of Nicaea, my brother, standing on the highway, my brother, of your breakthrough. Why not pray at this moment? Why not pray at this moment? My brother, bind every prince of Persia. Bind every prince of Persia. Bind every prince of Persia. In the place, in the women, in the location in which you are, bind that prince. Are you in Torino? Bind the prince of Torino. Are you in Brescia? Bind the prince of Brescia. Are you in Napoli? Bind the prince of Napoli. Are you in Milan? Bind the prince of Milan. Are you in Modena? Bind the prince of Modena. Are you in Vicenza, in Padova? Bind the prince of Persia. That prince, that prince, that prince, that prince, that prince that is standing on the highway of your breakthrough. My brother, pray today. My sister, pray today. It's a day of multiple breakthrough. It's a day of multiple breakthrough. And you must receive your breakthrough today in the name of Jesus. Every prince, every prince, every prince. Is it that the last year is hot? That since January you have been praying, you have been praying, you have been praying. It's like the answer has not come. My brother, that pray, that pray. The Bible says that all oh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. That my people perish for lack of knowledge. That my people perish for ignorance because of ignorance. Oh Lord, my people, my people, my people, my people are afflicted. My people are cheated. My people, they are losing their battle. Oh, because of ignorance. My brother, pray. Let Satan should take advantage of us. Why is it that you are praising January? It's that breakthrough has not come. Don't be ignorant of the devices of the devil. That prince, that prince, that prince, that prince. My brother, take hold of him, the prince of Rome. Oh yes, the prince of Firenze. Oh yes, the prince of Oh yes, the prince of Pisa, the prince of Ancona, the prince, my brother, wherever the agitation, my brother, pray today. The prince of Genova, my brother, pray, 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 pray. Bind that prince in the name of Jesus. I bind you this prince. I bind you this prince. I bind you this prince, my brother. Pray and violently, violently. The Bible says that Satan. Since the time of the John the Baptist, since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violence they take it by force, violently, my brother, violently and forcefully dismantle, violently and forcefully, my brother, bind up prince, violently and forcefully, my brother, resist the activities of the devil against this day of your breakthrough, against this day of your breakthrough, against this day of your breakthrough, of your breakthrough. my brother, pray, my sister. Pray. Pray, my brother. Pray, my sister. Pray, my brother. Pray. Since the time of John, the take it by force, violently, my brother. Violently demand, my brother. Demand for spiritual reinforcement. Demand, de de demand, my brother, for angelic reinforcement to help you, to help you, to help you, to dismantle, to help you, my brother, to take away, to help you, my brother. Yes, to, to I mean, to blast out every. But yes, oh God, to your breakthrough. It's a day. It's a day. It's a day like no other day. It's a day like no other day. A day of multiple breakthrough. My brother, pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, my sister, pray. Call upon His mighty name. Call upon His mighty name. Call upon His mighty name. The Lord is here. The Lord is here to deliver. The Lord is here to help you. The Lord is here to bless you. The Lord is here to do you go. The Lord is here to do you go. My brother, pray and call upon the mighty name. Pray and call upon his mighty name. He will do you go. He will do you go. He will do you go. In the name of Jesus, he will do you go. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will do you go. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord. You must receive your breakthrough today. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. Father, I receive it. 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 Oh, yes, King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. As much as Father, King of Grass, you say, Father, we applied our faith to nine Almighty God this afternoon that Lord Almighty King of Grass, you say, Father, we receive our faith in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So shall it be. The Lord Almighty God, people that are walking out around your people, people that are walking out around your people, Father, Almighty God, you begin to be ashamed. As your word says, Lord Almighty Father, you have done that miracle for that man. And Lord Almighty God, all the people that are walking out, Father, King of God, they begin to be ashamed. Father, Lord Almighty God, you see. And I in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brethren, the Lord is healing somebody. Amen. Amen. This afternoon, the Lord is healing somebody. Jesus. Amen. You are getting a breakthrough. Child of God, you are getting a breakthrough. Amen. The Lord is touching somebody. Amen. Somebody is being healed of kidney problem. Amen. You are being healed of kidney problem. Amen. You went to your doctor, and the doctor has asked you, with the symptoms you are having, he's already telling you that it's like you have kidney problem. And presently, you are going through a test. You are doing a test. But I'm going to pray for you. Because the Lord has marked you out for a breakthrough this afternoon. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, all the tests you are doing is going to prove negative. Amen. Because of the breakthrough of the living God. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I commit this your child before you. Yes, Lord. Oh Lord, I pray by the authority in the name of Jesus. Amen. The great and mighty Jehovah. Oh Lord, the one who died for our sin. The one who died for our healing. Amen. The Bible says that we are healed from the top of our head to the tip of our toes. Amen. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Father, I come as your servant and I command by the authority in the name of Jesus, this infirmities, O oh God, that have taken hold of this, your child. I bind this strong man of infirmity and I command you, get out in Jesus' name. Amen. Unto you, loose your hold upon this child of God. Amen. Father, I pray all the demons, O oh God, who have been assigned, to cause this pain in the body of this individual. Lord, I pray, and I bind these demons. Demons, your actions. Demons, your works. Demons, let me tell you, all the assignment you have got, I terminate such assignment, I terminate all such works. And I bind you, get out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I declare this, your child healed. Amen. I declare this, your child healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From the top of his head to the tip of his toe, he is healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. There is a brother. There is a brother. You have delayed. You have kept long in marrying. You have kept long in marrying, even though you are waiting upon the Lord. But the Lord wants me to tell you, your parents, your parents, concerned parents, they are concerned about your situation. And to the extent they have been concerned but the Lord wants me to tell you, call them. Call them and tell them. If you want to find out, to find the truth, when you call them, ask them that question. Mama, what are you doing in helping me my marriage? You ask them that question and listen what they will tell you. They are doing things beyond 
your knowledge. But the Lord want me to tell you, ask them. And when they tell you, they will tell you the truth. Tell them they should back off. Tell them they should back off. Tell them they should leave you alone, that God is in control. Tell them and depend upon God. Next year, you are getting married. Amen. Next year, you are getting married. Amen. But if you fail to tell them and they continue, forget about that marriage. Because the Lord will not share his glory with anybody. The Lord will not share his glory with anybody. Tell them to back off and depend upon God. And I'm telling you, next year you are getting married. Amen. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you honor. Lord, I give you all that good. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There is a child here. There is a child here who has been having some strange occurrences in the night. Strange things in the night. There has been a particular time in the night that this child has been waking up crying, tormented, crying, tormented. It has been like this for a time. It has been like this for a time. I'm going to pray. And I want the mother of that child to lay the hand upon that child as I pray. Deliverance is taking place. Amen. That affliction today is the end. Amen. That oppression today is the end. Lay Amen. your hand up as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray. The Bible says that shall the pray of the mighty be delivered. You say yes. Yes. And Lord, the day has come for deliverance of this child. I pray, Father. I command by the authority in the name of Jesus. Amen. Satan, devil, loose your hold upon this child. Amen. Whatever you have been doing in the life of this child, I mark this child with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I mark this child with the blood of Jesus. Amen. From today. This child is out of bound to you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare this child delivered from the activities of the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare this child free from the oppression of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fire of the Holy Spirit, I pray burn around this child. Make this child out of bound to the devil. Amen. Make this child out of bound to the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray that the zeal of the Lord of hosts perform this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you it is done. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I seize this opportunity to pray. For as many children who have been going through turbulence time, I seize this opportunity to pray for children who go going through situations which are beyond them. Father, and I command that Father, in the name of Jesus, they will be relieved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. More especially, I pray for this young man who have prospered. This young man who have been having this oh God situation year after year, year after year, year after year, deliverance come and it comes again. Deliverance freedom come and it comes again. Father, enough is enough. Father, enough is enough. Oh Lord, I pray for this young man. I call upon you for this young man. Oh Lord, it today the power of God is here. The might of God is here to deliver, to heal. The strength of God, you are here to deliver and to heal. Oh Lord, I pray for this young man. Father, I pray, heal this young man in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
deliver him from all this familiar spirit, deliver him from all this foul spirit, deliver him from all this satanic spirit. Father, I pray, set this young man free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All these evil powers, all these satanic forces, oh my God, they go, they come, they go, they come. Every time, Lord, at the edge, oh God, every time war at the edge of his breakthrough, every time war at the edge of his breakthrough, that with what breakthrough he had recently, look at the war, oh God, which I've just started. Oh Lord, I pray this very day. Father, I command and I declare this boy free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I mark him with the blood of Jesus. All the powers, all the forces, all the evil spirits, oh God, who have been, Father, you have said, oh God, that they shall surely gather together. But we shall ever gather together, which is not of you. Lord, we will, I condemn that gathering. I Amen. condemn that gathering. And every tongue that have raised up against this young man, Father, I declare it none and void. I condemn that speech in the name of Jesus. Amen. God Almighty, oh Lord, let the young man, Father, send this young man free in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for this man, young boy also, who is at the hospital. Oh Lord, I pray, Father God, oh, put into the mouth of these parents, the Lord, they can be able to say a penisa. Oh Lord, they are waiting for that word. They are waiting for the time to say, Ebenezer, hitherto you, God, you have helped them up to. Father, so I pray and I call upon you. Father, visit this boy once again at the hospital. Oh Lord, I pray, set this young man free in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare this young man fit and strong. Amen. Amen. Father, this boy, he will walk. Amen. Father, this boy, he will walk. Amen. Say, whether you like it or not, this boy, he will walk Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will walk in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you because it is done. Amen. Children of God, let's lift up our voices and thank the Lord. Let us bless his mighty name for what he has done. Let us lift up our voices and thank the Lord for what he has done. Let us praise him. Let us magnify him. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. In the name of Jesus, thank the Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is, there, is somebody, there is somebody under this conference. There is somebody under this conference. You have a photo, a photograph. You have a picture of your loved one. Somebody you have been praying for. Somebody you have been looking upon to God for that God will touch this person's life. Oh, put your hand upon that picture. Put your hand upon that photo. The Lord is touching that individual. The Lord is touching that individual. That change you are looking for. That transformation you are looking for. That breakthrough you are looking for in the life of that individual. The day has come. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I command this very moment. Father, everything contending with this boy's life, everything contending with this individual's life, oh Lord, I pray today, I pray today, by the anointing and the power, I contend with this person, I contend with these forces, I contend with these spirits, I contend with these dominions, those dominions, Lord, that are trying to take hold of this boy's life, that the life of this individual, oh God, is nothing to talk about. Lord, I pray, change the situation of this person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Change the situation of this individual in the name name of Jesus. Amen. Don't break through, oh God, this your child is looking for this loved one. I pray the Father, let it take place instantaneously in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is touching somebody. The Lord is touching somebody. The Lord is touching somebody. You have been looking for a child. You have been looking for a child. You have been looking for a child. But you have been guessing. Why? 
that this child has not been coming. Why are you childless? There is something you need to repent of. Between 2008, year 2008, and 2015, you committed an abortion. And that is the cause. 2008 and 2015, year 2008, 2015, between that years, you committed an abortion. And that is the cause. But the Lord is a merciful God. If you can repent, repent right now. As I'm talking, repent. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Yes, you say, ah, but I've, been, I've, I've asked for forgiveness. Today is a special day. Today is a special day. The Lord has marked you out. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Children are going to follow. As the Lord take care, repent, repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Ask the Lord. The Lord is listening to you. Pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. It's a new era. It's a new time. It's a new day. A breakthrough has come for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Lord, I pray. You are a merciful God. You are a compassionate God. You love this, your child, so much to the extent that, Lord, you have not hid hide anything from her. Oh Lord, as you have revealed, you have asked for forgiveness, Lord. I pray, I pray, like you told us, you are faithful and just to forgive us all our sins. Oh Lord, I pray, come this forgiveness. Let come, oh God, the, I mean fruitfulness. Let come, oh God, for the children. I pray, Lord, give this uh, the daughter of yours the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I thank you. It is done. Amen. I, bless you, great. I glorify you. You are so good at God. You are so compassionate. Lord, I will love you forever. I will thank you. I will praise you. Because, Lord, I know, I know, I know, I know you will love this person. I know you love this person. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your great and wonderful name. I lift you up. You are a miraculous God. You are a faithful God. You are a compassionate God. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Children of God, join me to thank the Lord. Join me to praise the name of the living God. Join me to magnify the name of the living God for what he has done for this very particular case. Thank the name of the living God because the Lord has done it. 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 Praise his mighty name. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Praise his mighty name. Thank him, praise his mighty name. Thank him, praise his mighty name. Praise mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There are couples, there are couples, there are couples. You have been living very fine. But all of a sudden, recently, there has been a problem among you. There has been a great misunderstanding. There is this misunderstanding is almost trying to tear you people apart. Let me tell you something. It's just about a decision, a decision, a decision you people are taking, a decision you people are taking, and that has got to this extent. The Lord is telling me to tell you. Let every one of you, that spirit of domineering, I'm going to pray for you. Every one of you want to dominate. You want your decision to be taken. But I'm going to pray for you. That the Lord is destroying that spirit from your life. And allow Amen. God, allow God, let every one of you, let every one of you humble yourself, submit to one another. Submit to one another. Submit to one another. Submit to one another. And it's going to be well with you. Hold your hands together. Those couples, hold your hand together. Hold your hand together as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for these children of yours. Oh, Lord, I thank you because I know you love them enough, oh, God, to, I mean, to bring this problem to, oh, God, to the surface. 
Lord, I thank you. I bless your great name. I command this spirit, this domineering spirit that is operating, that is trying to take over their life, that is almost trying to tear them apart. Father, their life has never been like this. Lord, I pray, I bind you this spirit, this strong man, I bind you in the name of Jesus. And I command you, you lose your hold upon these children of God. I command you, lose your hold upon these children of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that the spirit of submission, I pray the spirit of submission, I pray the spirit of humility, I impart it unto them by your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I ask for that unity. I ask for that one is. Thank you, Lord, for answering that prayer. Amen. In Jesus' mighty, victorious name, we pray. Amen. There is healing for somebody also. There is healing for somebody. There is healing for somebody. You have been having pain. And because of that pain, you know, you have been walking even abnormally. The pain is so severe that you have been walking abnormally. The way you used to walk, that is not the way. But it's, you are trying to adjust yourself. You know, you are trying to, uh, I mean, to, 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 to walk. But you are not able. I'm praying for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, I command that spirit of infirmity. Lord, loose your hold. I bind you. The Bible says that whatever I bind on this cell will be bound with heaven. And I take hold of you. And I bind you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cast you out from this individual. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I ask the blood of Jesus. I ask the blood of Jesus to flow through this individual. Lord, to bring the healing that, oh God, that this individual, oh God, needs. I pray let your blood, oh God, do that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray it is well with this person. Amen. I pray it is well with this individual. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every demons, oh God, who have been assigned, oh God, Father, to see to it that, Lord, this person, oh God, works in this way. I bind this devil. I Amen. bind this demon. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I command you, get out in Jesus' name. Amen. In place, whoever and whatever I decree, it shall be established. I decree healing for this individual in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Children of God, lift up your hands and praise the name of the living God. Lift up your hands and thank the Lord for everything he has done. Lift up your hand. Magnify the name of the living God. Magnify the name of the living God. Magnify the name of the living God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. Pray, pray, praise the name of the living God. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is an individual you dreamt, you dreamt, you dreamt about your document. You dreamt that they were handing over your documents to you. You stretch forth your hand to take that document. But from nowhere, this huge personality, this mighty personality just came and snatched that document from you. And since that day, you have been toiling for your document. Stories upon stories. Let me tell you, the breakthrough has come. Amen. The Lord has given you a breakthrough. Amen. Open your mouth, open your mouth and declare it. Claim that document back. If you are that person, claim that document back. You dreamt, you dreamt in a dream. I'm not just saying that anybody. No, there is an individual you dread. You dread. You dread. You dread. You dread. And it happened this year. You dreamt this year. You dreamt this year. That document is being handed to you, but a huge person, an individual, this huge personality came and took it from you. If you are that person, begin to claim that document back. 
begin to claim that document back. Begin to claim that document back. As I pray for you, begin to pray that, claim that document back. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I pray. Father God Almighty, Lord, I'm asking you that, Lord, and I cancel this dream in the name of Jesus. Amen. Satanic demonic dream. This dream, oh God, that have had impact upon this, your child, that Lord, the documents have delayed in coming. Father, I bind this satanic dream in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fill the dream in the name of Jesus. Amen. The effect of it, Lord, I dismantle and I cancel it today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, I declare that there will be a restoration of that document back to your child. I Amen. decree that there will be a restoration of that document back to your child in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray. Father God, come what may, wherever, oh God, that document is. Father, let there be a restoration. Amen. Lord, let there be a restoration. Amen. Lord, let there be a restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let there be a restoration. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Father, I pray as your servant by the anointing. Father, I snatch that document back in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Over to this, your child. Amen. Oh, great God Almighty King, before this year ends, Lord, let that document, let that document be manifested in the hand of this, your child. Amen. Oh, God, let it be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I thank you and I bless you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is healing somebody. The Lord is healing somebody. Amen. The Lord is healing somebody. You are Amen. that person. Oh, yes, you have been having something like a catar, something like a runny nose. Your nose are blocked sometimes. You find, I mean, water running out. You know, it started in the period of winter. And you are thinking, oh, because of the season. And here we are, we are in summer. And still, the nose is still running. You have taken medication. You have gone to the doctor. You are giving you drugs. And you are still, even in this hot season, you are still having this catar. Breakthrough has come. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I decree healing for this to your child. Amen. And I command that, that spirit behind, that strong man behind, Father, you say that how can we enter into a strong man's, oh God, I mean, I mean, a, a, a house. How can we enter into his stronghold? Oh, he has to release his captives. I said, we bind him. Father, I take authority. I bind this strong man of infirmity. Amen. I get out from this very person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you are placed in his body, I use the blood of Jesus to wash it out. Amen. I use the blood of Jesus to cleanse him, oh God, from Amen. these very infirmities in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray. I pray for this individual also. Oh Lord, who have severe pain. Severe pain, oh God. Severe pain in the thigh. Severe pain in the thigh. Oh God, in the left thigh. Severe pain in the left thigh. Lord, I command healing for this person. Amen. I believe that Father, this person is healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I command the healing to take place right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray. Father God, let the fire of the Holy Spirit burn through that leg. Let it burn through that thigh. Father, Amen. to wipe up every pain in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you and I bless you. Amen. Father, I lift you up and I honor you. Amen. Father, I give you all the adoration. Amen. Lord, I give you all the thanksgiving. Amen. Bless the mighty name of the living God. Children of God, lift up your voice and bless the mighty name of the living God. Bless the Lord, 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 bless the Lord. Magnify the name of the living God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. In the name of Jesus. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lastly, I want to give you this prayer point. Lastly, I want to give you this prayer point. My brother, you are going to pray. You are going to pray. Every line of limitation, 
You know, there are times that they draw a line. They draw a line. Sometimes they draw a line. And sometimes we'll find it in their families. Lines which have been drawn in families, maybe by our ancestors. They say, ah, this family, they will not go beyond this level in education. This family, they will not go beyond this level in prosperity. This family, maybe they will not go beyond this level. I mean, this they will not go beyond this line of, of, of level, maybe in finances. And that's why sometimes we'll find people, oh, my brother, my sister, that sometimes is difficult. There are some people, it's a line drawn in the life of their marriage. There are some people, it's a line which is drawn in the life of their academical life. There are people, it's a line drawn, my brother, even in their physical life. The more they get to some age and some problem that has been in their family, it affects them as well. You are going to pray at this moment. Why not open your mouth? Open your mouth and tell the Lord that Lord, today is a day of breakthrough. Every line, every line of limitation, every line of limitation, every line of limitation. Is it a line, a racial line? Is it a racial line? They say that oh, this line is a line of racial line. That black, you are a black, you are a black. Is it a tribal line that this tribe they don't go beyond this line? This race, they don't go beyond this line. But my brother, pray, 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 pray today that that line, there will be a breakthrough this afternoon. There will be a breakthrough this afternoon. There will be a breakthrough this afternoon. That you will break through this afternoon, my brother. Pray, 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 pray. It's your time. 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 My brother, pray, 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 pray. It's your time. My brother, pray. It's your time, my brother, pray. It's your time. It's your time. It's a time of breakthrough for you. It's a time of breakthrough for you. It's a time of breakthrough for you. Every line of limitation which have been drawn, you will break through. You will break through. You will break through. You will break through. It's a day of breakthrough. It's a day of breakthrough. It's a day of breakthrough. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Brethren, thank the Lord. Brethren, thank the Lord and bless him. The Lord has done more than enough for us. Thank the Lord and bless him at this moment. Glorify the name of the living God. Tell him, Lord, we thank you. We will bless you for what you have done. But indeed, 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 it has been a multiple, it has been a day of multiple breakthrough. It has been a day of multiple breakthrough. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Indeed, it has been a day of multiple breakthrough. Thank the Lord. Bless his mighty name. Thank the Lord. Lord, bless his mighty name. Thank the Lord, bless his mighty name. Thank the Lord, bless his mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, our great and mighty Jehovah, the God that answered by fire, Amen. the God who is not tired of blessing his people, the God whose reign and his kingdom will never come to an end. Amen. Father, we thank and we bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for blasting barriers, O oh God, to our great truth. Amen. Father, we thank you this very day in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the great things you have done in this conference. Amen. Lord, indeed, it has been a day of multiple breakthrough. Amen. And I declare it and I decree that by the anointing of God upon my life and by the authority as a minister of you, God Almighty, and over this great congregation, oh, over the believers, over the members of this body of Christ, whom you purchase, whom you I mean, redeem by your precious blood. Father, I declare today that this 2020, Oh my God, is indeed a day of multiple breakthrough. And I pray that today, not tomorrow, I pray that today, not next week, I pray that today, not next month, I pray, Father, let it mark out to be a new day of all days, a day of multiple breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that your people will experience, oh God, breakthrough. 
Praise Amen. the Lord in every area of their life. Amen. Break through, oh God, intellectually. Amen. Break through, oh God, in, 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 their, in their academical life. Amen. Break through, oh my God, Father, in their financial life. Amen. Break through, oh God, in their health life. Amen. Break through, oh God, biologically. Amen. Break through, oh God, in their business and in their works. Amen. And Amen. Let your people experience a breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh my Lord. Lord, I pray. Let there be a breakthrough in their careers. Amen. I pray that, Father, there will be a jump, a mighty jump. There will be a mighty jump, Father, Amen. oh God, in the level of their, oh God, of, 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 of their financial life. There will be Amen. a mighty jump, oh God, in the level, oh God, of their academical life. There will Amen. be a mighty jump, oh God, in the level of their physical life. Father, Amen. I pray. Oh, great and mighty God. Father, do it for your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you know your people who are desperate. You know your people who are frustrated. Oh, my Lord, I pray. Those who are frustrated, Lord, what do I mean by that? I mean people, oh God, who know who they want to be. People, oh God, who know they, what they want to be doing. People of God who know where they ought to be. People of God who know what they ought to be doing. But you know, Father, they find themselves in this frustrating, oh God, and desperate, oh God, situation. A circumstance that, Lord, they can't do what they want to do. They can't be who they ought to be. They can't be where they ought to be. But, Father, I pray that today, oh God, great and mighty King, Father, you have marked us out for a breakthrough. And I pray that come this breakthrough, oh God, your people will begin to be where they ought to be in the name of Jesus. Amen. And do what they ought to be doing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your people can do what they ought to be doing in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, oh God, all their intention and their desire. Oh my God, they want to be boss, they want to be directors, they want to be businessmen, they want to be people, oh God, who are employing other people. But Lord, I pray today, you will grant them that breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My Father God, I'm praying. Oh God, I pray for, oh God, that there will be a, a, a breakthrough. Breakthrough Amen. in all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In all our families, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, churches, oh my God, who are struggling, numerically they are struggling. Oh, Father, a year, a day of a multiple breakthrough. Oh, Father, Amen. I pray, grant them breakthrough numerically in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who have been evangelizing, churches who have been visiting, toiling here and there, Doing all that they could, but Lord, it's like their number and their number remains the way they are. Oh, Father, as your servant by the anointing, I command that there will be a breakthrough numerically for all your churches in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, breakthrough financially for your churches. Amen. There are churches who are struggling, struggling financially, struggling financially struggling even to pay the rent of the church. Father God, things are so hard to the extent that Father, oh God Almighty, and if a church are struggling even to pay rent, think about it. How can they even be of help? How can they even be of help? How can they be of help? How can they even do charity? How can they help brethren, oh God, my Father, who are even in need? Because the church itself is struggling, oh Father, and these things are going on most of our churches, oh God, and it is affecting even financially, oh my God, I mean, I, I, I mean nationally, to the extent that Father God, we can't even do charity, we can't be of help even to some other people, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, and sometimes the thing is so hard that it looks as if that there is no love. There is no law. It looks as if there is no law. But Lord, it's because of these financial challenges. Father, I pray today. King of kings, I call upon you today. I declare that, brother, there will be a financial breakthrough for all your churches in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you just give us a breakthrough. 
breakthrough, oh God, in the life of the church nationally concerning the Milan mm -hmm. church. And we're expecting that, Father, you will continue, you will move ahead, oh God, as you give first breakthrough, oh God, in the case of Roca Coca. You will move mm -hmm. on to give also in the case of the church in Jesse. Oh God, pray. All these things call for a blessing, a blessing, a blessing upon your children. Father, that's why I pray, I call upon you. Bless all your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The redeem of the church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless all the believers, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. them financially. Oh my Amen. God, I pray that anything they are hand on us to do, my God, God and my Father, grant them a breakthrough financially in Jesus' name. Amen. We believe that as your children are being blessed. Oh, that blessing, Father, it will water. It will affect the nationally. Yeah. It will be other needs, oh God, in your church. Lord, I pray. Father, do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank and we bless you today. You, Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you all the honor. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that your people will take their blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. As many who are struggling for their document, Father, open doors of opportunity for them. Amen. As many who are struggling for employment, Oh God, come this September. Let there be a breakthrough for employment in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You be the glory and honor. Amen. In Jesus' mighty, victorious name we pray. Amen. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen.